Make your calling and election sure. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Those who have faith in God and pray for their wives are the world's best husbands. Wow, they did a good job. He made such a big deal out of nothing and sold his birthright at the board of lentil stew. About this, the Bible conclusively talks about Esau saying, So Esau despised the birthright. Hebrews chapter 12 talks about him saying, See that no one is sexually immoral. See that no one is godless like Esau, who for a single meal sold his inheritance rights as the oldest son. Afterward, as you know, when he wanted to inherit this blessing, he was rejected. He could bring about no change of mind, though he sought the blessing with tears. We know the, the term godless, godless, the term. Who are godless people? Those who, those who despise their birthright are godless people. We must not be godless like Esau. Then how? By valuing the birthright, our birthright in Jesus highly, and by securing it by any means. That's how we will not be godless people. Then what can be the birthright for us? The birthright is a token for future glory. God's calling for us is God's vision for us. God wants us to do that much. Wow! God wants us to get that much. So God's calling is actually God's promise for us. Right now, it may not give you that much benefit. But in the future, in the end, it will turn out to be your glory. It will bring glory, honor, and eternal inheritance when Jesus comes again. Even if you suffer because of God's calling. Actually, you suffer sometimes huh? when people reject you. Or because of God's calling, you, uh, because uh, you hold on to that and you let go of a dream job offer or other things, that is a pain. Or financially, you suffer. But even though you suffer for suffer because of your struggle to hold on to God's calling, certainly you will not die for it. So don't no, don't worry. So don't panic or exaggerate. The, uh, you are suffering too much. <laughs> Just endure it. Then your gracious Father. Heavenly Father will take care of you. God will never be late to help you. So we must hold on to God's calling and secure it firmly by any means. The Apostle Peter says, Therefore, my brothers, be all the more eager to make your calling and election sure. Say this together. Make your calling and election sure. One, two, three. Make your calling and election sure.